Welcome back. Thanks so much for keeping it locked as we continue a very important conversation. In fact, earlier in the show, we began the conversation on how parents can best ensure good dental health for our children. And we're getting into the nitty gritty now with Dr. Komoto Sepeng, a dentist based in Pretoria. He'll be telling us about the practices that parents should be doing with their children to promote good dental health. And, uh, you know, I think it's something that's obviously important to us Definitely. being parents and I'm realizing more and more, maybe I'm a little off the pace. Uh, Dr. Komoto, great to have you join us. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Doctor, now we know that you're very passionate about kids' dental matters. It's so important for us as parents as well. And as a result of your passion, your practice on Tuesdays is dedicated to the little ones. That's maybe you cool. can tell us a bit more about this. Okay, thank you very much. Um, on Tuesday, we dedicate the practice to um, orthodontics, which is braces to fix um, misaligned teeth or teeth that are crooked. And it's a passion. I love kids. I love dentistry. And we, you find that you get a 10-year-old, 12-year-old who is very uh, recluse because of the way his teeth are. And then as we see them in the practice and then we start doing their orthodontics, you realize that their confidence comes up. You know, you just groom them in that whole process. So it's what I enjoy mostly, and what you get at the end product, it always gives me um, some satisfaction. Even their character, even their their um, confidence get gets boosted. Um, yeah, that's what we basically do in the practice on Tuesdays. That's beautiful, doctor. I Just was that Tuesdays. I was that child, um, so I know exactly what that feels like firsthand. So that's something beautiful. So thank you so much for doing that and making that so important. Let's get back to the nitty gritty, as I said, and get into the dark side of. Um, this conversation, who's most at risk of tooth decay and what common practices lead to tooth decay in children? We've spoken about in babies, bottle feeding, often you know the, the milk pooling in the mouth, what you put in that bottle. Sure. When it comes to our children, what causes tooth decay? Okay, um, tooth decay is basically caused by a sugary diet and then over and above that we do not um, clean our teeth properly so that's that's the basics of it uh, there are myths out there that antibiotics causes my children's teeth to mm. rot or they may think it's hereditary it is definitely not but if all of us in the house are not brushing our teeth uh, we are eating a diet that's high in sugar uh, we don't take care of our teeth we're all going to end up in the same way so there, it's it's basically um, a high sugar diet superimposed with not cleaning our teeth, um, like for a long period of time, eventually we're gonna get um, decay, which can be very painful, which can be very distressing to both the parents and the children. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, some parents would wait for the pain before they see us, and that is um, what, what usually happens. And it will not be a good experience for, for either of us. I don't want to see kids who are distressed on the chair. Uh, we want to make it as pleasant as possible, but sometimes it's, it's not possible. Doctor, what is your final tips and maybe advice for us uh, parents and for everyone watching to get those kids into a good routine to take care of that dental care and the dental matters? Um, the most important thing is um, parents believe that because we've got two sets of teeth, the male teeth and the permanent one, that it's not important for us to take care of the, of the male teeth. They are actually very important. They help with the child's a growth, they help with the child's speech, um, and you know, obviously for function in terms of chewing and eating. Um, but we need to teach our children from an early age what to eat and what not to eat. So avoid um, junk food, which is what it is. Um, have a more healthy diet, fruits, um, vegetables. We need to drink lots of water. We need to drink milk. Um, there's fluoride in the water that helps to make our teeth strong. So we need to follow a very good diet. Um, obviously, regular checkups would also help. Um, but as parents, um, it's, 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 the diet is, is one of the most critical things um, that we can, we can help our kids with. And the milk teeth are important because if we take them out too early thinking that we've got another set coming out, then we end up with malocclusion where our kids end up having braces because we took out those two too early, the child can't develop well, the speech is affected. So there's a whole lot of things that are important in maintaining a good oral health. 
And added to that, I would say, find yourself a good dentist. Just like we have this morning, I love your bedside manner. Thank you so much for joining us and for the efforts that you put into the little ones and dental care within children. We really appreciate your advice this morning. Um, go and enjoy a wonderful day. And hopefully you have some, some pain-free, beautiful young children in your chair today. But it's been an absolute pleasure connecting with you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you very much. It's only a pleasure. I'm realizing that there are a few things that I yeah. need to possibly okay. adjust, getting the diet right, but I need to get my child in for that checkup. Do it before the pain kicks in and it becomes a problem and let them mirror your good behavior with your own oral hygiene.